everybody and welcome to our cocktail class. Here is Zed, uh, one of our Dynamics team members who is a very experienced Dynamics person and has made loads of cocktails in her Dynamics. Um, and today we're bringing you a few of our favourites and we'll be zipping around to um, different team members' kitchens. So one thing we do do as uh, a team in Thermomix is all work together to inspire and help each other learn a little bit more about our Thermomix. None of us are experts at Thermomix and none of us are TV presenters or any type of professional speaker. So we are just uh, home cooks that love cooking, love our Thermomixes and love talking about it. So that is pretty much our goal today, to get you to see how much we uh, enjoy what we do. And um, I hope that you get a lot more out of your thermal mix or get tempted to try new recipes. Try new recipes or get tempted to actually have a thermal mix on your bench. So um, I think what we should probably do is just get started with um, one that I've chosen today. Now, um, I did make a slight adaptation to my choice, and the reason I did that was because um, I wanted a really quick cocktail, um, and so I chose the Pisco Sour, and I'm going to show you um, where that is. So I got that saved in my Cookie Do Recipe Library. So I have created a chapter in my recipe library called cocktails and alcoholic sorbets. So like any um, recipe book, you have your chapters in those. With Cookie Do, you can actually create your own chapters for your own recipe book that is relevant to you and your family. So instead of buying a book and just using it for three recipes and it's been quite wasteful, you can literally scan our recipe database, very much like an iTunes account, and create your own recipe library or recipe list as you would So in my playlist, under cocktails, I have Pisco Sour, all the information I can see on my TMX, TM6 screen. So I've got my preparation, my nutritional information, and away I go. Best thing about this one is there are egg whites in this recipe. So there is protein in this drink. So I can justify this one because, well, it's all about protein at the moment. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to go with start cooking and the very first step is going to pop up on the screen. And um, the first um, requirement or the first thing we need is sugar and it's 200 grams and the scales pop up straight away and I can just weigh in my 200 grams of sugar. And then I go to the next and the recipe literally comes up step by step on the screen um, and I can go ahead. So. The next step here is uh, about a tablespoon of lime zest. So when you're zesting in the Thermomix, it doesn't actually mean that you need to do that zesting torturous thing by hand anymore. You get your veggie peeler and you peel the skin and then you just pop it in and then, or the rind, better expression, and then the Thermomix does all of that horrible knuckle busting grunt work for you. So then sugar, and um, zest in, and we're just going to melt this on speed 10 for 15 seconds. just did now. So that is awesome. <laughs> the aroma here is incredible. It is zesty and limey and fresh and beautiful. Now this particular function that you've just seen happen now is what's called our milling function. So obviously apart from fun things like cocktails and you know making grinding sugar and, and um, uh, zesting Fruit. It is fantastic for anything like milling um, spices, milling grains into flour. So just thinking along the lines of rice into rice flour and um, your own fresh spices or anything else that you would normally buy pre-ground, you can do in 15 seconds or so in your Thermomix and have the most powerfully robust um, 
smells and freshness. So milling is an amazing, amazing function. So we've just seen the sugar and the lime, and now we'll go through over to five limes that have been just peeled and whole. Now I only had four, so I'm replacing the fifth one with half a lemon. So really important thing to, um, to highlight here that the recipes that you see on the screen are a guide. Okay, it's called guided cooking for that for that purpose. Yes, it's guiding you step by step, but also it's guiding me along with the ingredients. So if I feel confident enough to throw in half a lemon instead of a lime, I will. If I don't, I won't. So it is totally up to you. Next step is the fun part, and that is 200 grams of pisco. So, or it says a uh, grappa. Now I don't have either of those, but I do have a whiskey sour. So I think that um, a nice bourbon will do the trick. So I'm going to go for 200 grams of that. Now, 200 grams is very much like um, 200 mils. So this is going to be all sorts of powerful, I think, because that's the first one of whiskey. All right, so um, now we'll pop that wig back on. Every step for us, and we're going to give that a quick blitz for 30 seconds. So it's um, as, as much fun for me as you guys right now. I've just teared my scales to zero so I can weigh in 250 grams of water. And then I'm going to pop in, and just excuse me for one second because I've kept them in the fridge, two egg whites. So here is where I have protein boost come from. So two egg whites going in. And also we've got five ice cubes, which I have ready to go. So five ice cubes, which may or may not be stuck at the back. Whoop, in they go. One with one left over. So five ice cubes. I think that one's not going to go anywhere. No. We are now running with four. Four ice cubes. And then we need a little bit of bitters. And of course, one of my very favourite things about the Thermomix is doing a cost comparison. So if you think about heading into a bar and making up, I don't know, it looks like there's at least a litre of cocktail in here and what that would cost you to buy, um, it is a really, really good comparison. Uh, okay, so this is going to go for a minute and a half on speed six. It's all pretty simple. So 
let's say a minute and a half. We'll go to our next step. So the next step is to actually allow it to sit for three minutes before we pour it. But I think what I'll do is I'll actually pour it into the glasses and then let it sit while the next cocktail is being made. And then we can um, and then we can come back and see what it looks like after it's settled. But here is a hell of a lot of, of, uh, of cocktail. So again, heading out for these, I imagine would easily be now. I don't go out a lot because I have a Thermomix and I don't need to. But if I did, I imagine these probably would be close to $20 a glass. Yeah. And that would, wouldn't I? Yeah, thank you. At I, least. Love, I love the laugh. Yeah, at least. I'm getting an at least. So if you notice what I've done here, I've popped in the simmering basket because that's acting as my strainer for any pulp or anything or any pips that might have been in the, um, lime. In the lime. Thank you. Uh, so... That's looking quite nice. We're going to let that settle a bit before I come in and do the garnish. We're getting a close-up. Oh, look, many hands make light work. I love it. So you can see it's separating now. You can see it's separating. Um, it'll separate beautifully, and then we'll do the garnish and come back to show you what it's going to look like, all three, in their own individual way. Whoa, that was close. Whew. That would have been fun on live, live, live Zoom, wouldn't it? <laughs> But look, I've got a little bit of a glass of cherry and I dried some lime in the oven and I'm going to come back and put that all together. But in the meantime, while that's settling, I'm trying not to sort of like have a quick sip, but oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. Um, we will send you over to Melissa's kitchen and she's going to whip up something for you also. Trust me to go on. Hello. Am I spotlight yet? Hi, everybody. Yep. Everyone good? Everyone can see me, see the screen, see everyone? Fantastic. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm also making something today that I have not made in the cookie dough recipes. Um, I have made frozen margaritas previously, but this one's a new recipe and it's got um, lemon, limes and orange, so it's very citrusy. So I'm really looking forward to it. So what I've done, I've saved it for something that I'm going to be cooking today, so it's easy to find it. Uh, I've got a few other recipes that I'm planning on going ahead and making later. And I hit the start cooking. The first few steps are telling me just to um, place the rim of the glass in some water and place that into um, the salt. But I actually prefer to use a bit of lime myself. Rim my glass and place that in the salt, which I have behind here. And then you get your nice rim glass. So. Although you can leave that step out if you don't like salt on your margarita um, drinks. Now it's asking for 130 grams of tequila. I'm guessing I'll be uh, walking to pick up the kids from here. One thirty-five, close enough. Now it's asking for. The other reason I chose this recipe as well, it's actually got Cointreau in it. So it really brings that, that orange flavour into it. So I can tell I use this quite a bit. I do use Cointreau for quite a few cocktails. And obviously we're measuring now as closely as we can. Obviously they go up in one gram increments now with the new machines, which is fantastic. Um, and not the five grams, which makes it a lot easier. And we're going ahead and we're adding 60 grams of lemon. And this one is actually, I've taken the pith off. And so um, you won't get any of the white bitter part of the, the lemons. So I've actually done this before. So I don't, you don't sit here and watch me cutting up things. So we're adding the 60 grams of lemon and it's, Approximately one lemon, which is a little bit over 60, so that's fine. Uh, 30 grams of lime, which again, I've cut the pit off. Let me make sure my cat gets away, sorry. <laughs> Annoying. And then I'm going to add 90 grams of orange. About half an orange, but it depends on the size of the orange. Yeah, that's three bits. 
Perfect. Um, just don't throw away any of your, um, your, your scraps of lime and lemon. You can add that to your bowl later and help clean your bowl and refresh your bowl up as well. So no need to throw those out. Our next step is to add one to two tablespoons of sugar syrup. Now the sugar syrup you can make obviously on your own and the tips, if you, it says see tips um, and it's optional as well. So you don't have to add sugar, but I like it a little bit sweeter. And in the tips section, you could go and look at the tips section if you wanted to from here. Sorry, I'm just going back. And you can go ahead and, and it'll give you all the details about the, the tips and how to make that. So I'll just continue on and get this cat out of the way. Now I made this a bit earlier, put it in the fridge. It's made quite a bit, as you can tell in my Posada jar here. And then you can use that, obviously, and keep that in the fridge. One to two tablespoons. And insert the measuring cup and lid. And that's just going to whiz that up and combine all of those ingredients. Now, for the noisy bit, we're going to be adding the, oh, it looks good, it smells good too, and we're going to be adding 500 grams of ice cubes. So I'm going to tear that and make sure that we get roughly 500 grams in there. is a great for keeping everything cooler and also warmer so if you haven't got a thermo server definitely get one. insert your lid and excuse the noise I'm not going to try and talk over it for a minute Right, now for the fun part. One can see that in my bowl. <laughs> Smells absolutely amazing. Um, and you can see that it's actually very cold on the outside, but I'm gonna put that in the glasses and um, we'll get back and I'll show you the final results. Smells amazing, by the way. I don't know if the weather calls for it today, but eh, frozen anything is great, isn't it? Yum. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does. It looks fantastic. It's like it's a dessert. Nice. It is. It's almost a sorbet. Check it, it out. Is Yum. Beautiful. You could, you could even make that icier by putting more ice in there if you wanted you to. Could. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so I'm going to have a fun afternoon. <laughs> we all are going to have a fun <laughs> afternoon, I think. <laughs> yeah. I've just sampled mine. Oh, my gosh. Great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful. So it's that simple. And, like, really, I mean, as you said, these cocktails would probably be in excess of $90 to $20 each. Yeah. And we're getting these for, I reckon, there's probably at least four drinks in here. Easily, easily. 
Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, that's me. That's me, Jan. That looks so good. Thank you so, so much. Um, before we go over to our next one, I'm going to show come. Oh my gosh, look! Got a close up then. Oh, it actually is very icy. Very nice. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That is all, all sorts of delicious and tangy that would be too. Um <laughs> So what we're going to do now is I just want to bring you back over to um, my kitchen here because I started my little decoration process. So I've decided that I'm just going to suspend some little glacé cherries over the top. I know most people don't like them, but they look really good. So we're going to go with that. Um, and then because it's such a delicate, um, such a delicate drink, I find that these actually sink. So you just kind of need to suspend your decoration on the, on the toothpick somehow. So, and that's all doable. But while I'm playing around with that, we'll take you over to Simone in her kitchen while she whips up something very nutritious because it's full of vitamins, hey, Simone? <laughs> this is like antioxidants and all sorts of good things. Hi there. Um, I'm here in Abbotsford and today I've decided to do a classic cocktail which is a mango da daiquiri so quite healthy with all that fruit that's what I'm saying anyway um, what I've done beforehand is I've just bookmarked it in my cookie do so I've got it ready to go so I'm just going to start cooking now um, firstly I'm going to weigh out some raw sugar what I do is I just tear my um, scale so that they go back to zero. I've also, this calls for 40 to 60 grams of sugar, but I'm just going to go 40 grams because I think you can add more if you want to make it sweeter. Um, I've got vanilla sugar, but that's just a personal preference. Otherwise, you can use white sugar, brown sugar, whatever sugar you like. I think um, typically you use white sugar, but I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to pop that in here. So I've got 40 grams. Um, next step, I'm going to insert the lid into the mixing bowl. And as I go along, it's telling me each step as I go, so I don't have to worry about what to do next. It lets me know. And then I'm just going to um, blend it for 10 seconds. So it's going to be a bit noisy. Letting you know it's done. I've milled the sugar. Just waiting for that one to open. Sugar's all milled, which is great. So now I'm going on to the next step where I'm going to add my 500 grams of mango. Um, you don't have to use mango. You can also go with strawberries or raspberries or pineapple or any fruit you desire, or you could always do a blend of different fruits if you prefer. But I like mango, so I'm going with mango. Um, I just bought this pre-packaged from Coles. I've let it thaw a little bit in the fridge beforehand and I'm just going to add that whole 500 gram pack straight in. Yep, so just a tiny bit over, that's fine. Next step, I'm going to add 400 grams of ice cubes. I also can measure that straight into the Thermomix. Everything for me. <laughs> Losing a few on the bench. That's all right. All right. So we'll just that. All right. So next, I'm going to pop the lid into the mixing bowl, and this is where like the noisy part's going to happen again. It's going to blend. In. So that's for about 20 seconds, it's telling me, and that's on speed nine. Alright, I think that's done. It's very noisy. 
All right, next comes the fun part. It's looking quite icy in there. So I'm just gonna use my spatula just to push it down a little bit on the sides. Next, we have the fun stuff. So I'm using Bacardi rum. For this one, we are adding 60 grams. So again, I'm tearing my scales back to zero. Takes another go. And then I'm going to pour 60 mil. So I'm just doing that slowly just so I don't overfill it. And as Melissa mentioned before, it just goes in um, one gram increments. So it's easy to keep a track of. All right, whoops. I might put a little bit extra in. That's okay, we'll be fine with that. Uh, then next step, we're adding 60 grams of Contro. Gives it a lovely zesty flavor. Again, just pouring that one straight in. This one you can always use with other cocktails as well, so it's quite versatile. All right, there we go, 60 grams. All right, next, I'm gonna add 30 grams of lemon juice. Now I'll admit, I only have half a lemon juice, so there's slightly less, but I don't think that really matters. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. Wonderful. All right, again, we're gonna insert the lid into the mixing bowl. Next step. Now this one is just for 10 seconds. We're just gonna blend it for 10 seconds with the alcohol. So, all right, let's wait for that one to open. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I'm actually going to, I've invited my girlfriend to come over for dinner afterwards because I have to go and do school pickup after this. So I decided it's probably not a good idea to go. But this is the finished product. You can see it in there. It looks amazing. It's quite, it is quite thick. Um, looks but great. It's delicious. Like it would be perfect on like a hot summer's day. You could use it as a base for other cocktails. I'm just going to perhaps try and get it in there. So here we go. Look how amazing and it smells delicious with the fresh mangoes. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Cheers. <laughs> I might need a spoon for this one. So thick and delicious. Yes. I, need a spoon. I, I think you could probably put a little bit more liquid. You could always add like a little bit more like sugar syrup or you could add a little bit of coconut water or something if you didn't want it that thick or just let it sit for a moment. But I think that um, every time we go out, my husband always asks for extra ice. So that has got his name written all over it. Yes. No, it's <laughs> Perfect. And it's made, oh my goodness, like I've got enough here for at least four, I think. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll have a good dinner. You'll have a good dinner tonight. Yes, dinner guest. Oh, we're going to do, I'm going to do risotto. Yeah. <laughs> nice and easy. Beautiful. Thanks yeah. so much, mate. I love that. It looks really, really lovely. Okay, so our next person that we're going to zoom over to today is back into my kitchen, but we're going to have Zed featuring her choice. Yeah, um, and I have chosen the White Russian um, as my cocktail. Um, so a little bit of background information um, about me. So way back um, in my younger days when I first left home, I discovered that I like to spend more money than I earn. So um, <laughs> as a result, I ended up getting a second job um, at a nightclub. Um, and this white Russian and also the black Russian, it just, um, I don't know, the memory of having these drinks takes me back to those days, so young and wild days. Enough about that. Um, fast forward now into the thermomix world. Um, now, th this uh, recipe also is uh, really, really simple, so um, it doesn't really... Uh, 
highlight all the wonderful features of the thermomix, but I do love that, you know, I don't have to get the shaper out and use my wrists and all that, which is nice and wobbly. Um, I can just pop it all into the thermomix. <laughs> Now, um, my white Russian uh, recipe is on Cookie Do in the UK platform, and it's, um, I think, called under um, winter cocktails. So if you're looking for it, that's where it is. So you just need to remove the filters out of Australia to be able to find it. And I'm just going to start cooking. Um, the scales have automatically come on, so I'm just going to now um, weigh in, first of all, the vodka. Absolute vodka, that just happened to be what I had at home. But, but you could put your favourite um, vodka in there. That's 60 grams of it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Next. Now, the coffee liqueur. Now, I'm normally used to uh, using Kahlua, but my son who works at a bar um, has uh, introduced me to Mr Black. It is an Australian-made uh, liqueur, so I, I actually like the fact that we... Um, promoting products from here. And it does have half the um, sugar of Kahlua. So it says real coffee, nothing artificial, half the sugar, not so good. So here we are. Try this out. This is my first, by the way, so I'm looking forward to it. Another 60 grams. And not quite enough. There we go, 61, beautiful. The recipe, this particular recipe asks for um, double cream. Now I'm not going to use cream, I, um, I'm just going to use milk, but it's totally up to you. If you prefer the thickness of cream, you can do that. My choice today is um, just cutting down the calories, just a little bit with milk. Excuse me while I grab it out of the fridge. Uh, me personally, I'm lactose intolerant, so I've, um, I've got the long life. Liddell's lactose free milk here. And that's another 60 grams. So what we've done is really adding um, in three equal parts. I can't see, that's about it. I've got just gone over by just a few grams. It comes on. And we're just gonna mix that for a little bit um, for 30 seconds. the weight but in a, anyway it doesn't really matter here we go and we're going to mix that up again just 10 seconds I haven't cleaned out the uh, steam basket, my fault there. And here we go, just strain that out into our two glasses. Once again, like Lisa did, of course you can use um, any uh, glass of your choice, whatever um, turns you on. Uh, you can also um, just choose the variety um, of glasses. Let everyone pick their own um, glass style. Just leave it at that. Um, one of the things I like to do is have dinner parties. So imagine um, 
you've invited your guests, you've got your table all set up, and as your guests first arrive, um, you know, pick a cocktail that may be um, complementary to the meal that you're serving and have it there for your guests when they first arrive. So I think that's really lovely. Um, the recipe in our cookie do doesn't... Um, didn't really have anything to decorate our glasses with. So what we've done is we've just grated some dark chocolate here. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. Of course, you can also um, make shapes with it too if you had it in a more of a cocktail glass. So here we are. That looks incredible. I yeah, I do. if you love these flavours, you will love this cocktail. And it's low cal because you've not used and cream. cream. milk. <laughs> <laughs> So Lev and I, I'm going to just like butt in here because I got a text message from somebody, a very clever person watching here today, who suggested that we pop the straw in this. So great consultant potential there, Marianne. Ah. This is about as hard as it gets being a consultant. So if anyone wants to join our team and drink cocktails yes. with us and <laughs> talk culture. about food and our love of all things delicious, we're here. So call us anytime. Meanwhile, shall we do a sample? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Cheers we're going to sample. We're going to taste photos. So everybody takes photos of their drinks. And when you guys make these at home, send us through the photos because we love that. Um, so Walford and I, oh, my gosh. Mine is sour, not too sweet. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. really tough being a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's after really tough. Like, oh. So cheers from us in here. Cheers from us in, in, in my kitchen here in queue. We're going to go over now to Josh and um, he's going to delight us. Um, Zeb, real quick question for you, Zeb. Yes. What did you sprinkle on top? Uh, it was grated dark chocolate. So, of course, you can use your um, Thermomix um, while, while you've got a dry bowl. Throw your dark chocolate in there, however much you want to grate. Um, I think it's feed nine. Um, just say 10 seconds, um, you'll get the grated chocolate. Um, and then that's all I did. I sprinkled that over the top. Beautiful. It just finishes it off. It really does. Nice. It just adds that little yeah. bit of something over the top. Really, really does. But you'll have your own ideas about how you might like to um, decorate your glasses as well. That's so it. your imagination is, yeah. It's, it's endless. It's endless. endless. It's endless. All right, everybody. We're over to Josh. And looking forward to um, his little specialty for us. And here he is going through now. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Lisa. Um, so today I'm going to do a pomegranate mojito. So you can't find that on the Australian cookie do. So just remove all the filters and select English and it will pop up. So I got caught behind the eight ball a bit today because I didn't have sugar syrup. But the Thermomix has got a good workaround. So it's 250 grams of sugar to 250 grams of water and put on for aroma for 15 minutes and you've got your own sugar syrup. Um, so I'll be using that today. Um, I've already shaved the ice. So that was just 300 grams. And then just divided into the glasses. So I didn't want to make too much noise. So we'll just go and start and I will walk you all through it. So I've halved the recipe. So it's 600 grams of ice cubes in the Thermomix. So I did 300. And then it's just without the measuring cup, blitz it on a speed four for 25 seconds. And that just breaks all the ice up. And then you get this shaved ice consistency. I'll just put that back in the fridge. All right. So I've divided that between two glasses. All right. So it's just 30 to 40 fresh mint. I used all my mint yesterday for Gosler mint. So I'm using a bit of chocolate mint as well as regular mint. So we'll see how that goes. All right, two limes quartered. So I'm just going to do one lime because I'm halving the recipe. All right, we're just going to insert the measuring cup. And then we're going to go on a speed four for 20 seconds. So the flames on this are reversed, so we're not damaging the lines. All 
Right. So if you were to read that, it said it's bruising the line. So, yep. All right, hit next. All right, scrape down the sides. Hit next. All right, 300 grams of ice cube. So I'm just going to put 150 grams in. All right, there's 154 grams in that, which will be fine. All right, we'll hit next. 150 grams of white rum. So I'm just going to use Bacardi because that's what we had. And because it's half the recipe, 75 grams. <laughs> All right, next, 125 grams of pomegranate juice. So it's going to be 62 to 63. All right. It's going to be a bit strong. It's at 73. All right, 125 grams of soda water. So once again, 62. All right, perfect. 80 grams of sugar syrup, which I pre-weighed into this glass. So it's only 40 grams that's required, which is there. All right, insert the measuring cup. All right, so speed four for five seconds, reverse blade. All right, insert the simmering basket. So that just sits on top. All right, so hold in place. So you just put it in, and then it locks in there. All right, and then we just pour it over to some glasses. So. Got some glasses happening. And I will go ahead and pour that. Oh, Josh, I wish um, we were all together in the same room so we could all have a glass of each of all our different cocktails. Oh, <laughs> I know. So tomorrow. Good. <laughs> good, thing have say, good thing we have our Christmas team dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> Join Team Dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's poured evenly between two glasses. Oh, All so right. yum. Divide 30 grams of pomegranate seeds. So I didn't know that the pomegranate seeds are called arils, so I might be pronouncing that wrong, but... <laughs> Close enough. Sorry? Close enough. <laughs> oh, let's go a bit more. <laughs> All right. And then four sprigs of mint. I've got one left over, so in it goes. All right, stir with the straw. I don't have a straw, so I'm going to use a spoon. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, 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 That's my mint, so I'll put some more in. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, you have to do the big taste test, Josh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I must. Mmm. 
I think that was the passion fruit mojito. Yeah, I like it. That might feature in Christmas, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very Christmassy. <laughs> Just need a white straw. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Looks amazing. Thanks to everyone. Now, please, guys, everyone, take a photo. And as I said earlier, if you if you do make um, if you do make uh, any cocktails, not necessarily even these, please send us over the photo because we would love 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 to see them. Um, and of course, anything to do with dynamics is all about sharing recipes, sharing little tips and insights. So um, that is what we are all about. So stay in touch. And um, yes, keep cooking, keep cocktailing, keep having fun. If anybody has any questions of any yeah. sort, then reach out to your consultant or any one of us, of course, and uh, we're only too happy to help. Meanwhile, you know what we're going to be doing all afternoon. We're just going to be, um, yeah, working, making up. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody, and um, take care for now. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so everyone stay on so that we can have a little chat. I think you're still recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that's a very, very good pickup. <laughs>